So if you want to watch a video on every single Secret Wallet compared that they have out right now, non-premium version, this is what you're seeing right now. I made a video, so just click up in the top right-hand corner here. It'll give you an entire breakdown, capacities, materials, etc. So if you're interested, take a look. Other than that, let's hop in to see if this new premium variant is worth it. Let's get to it. So if anybody is interested in a sacred wallet and you've happened upon this premium variant that is on their website recently, it may be a little bit confusing as to what you're getting and what is this premium wallet and why does it warrant this extra price tag. Upon looking at these wallets, uh, this is the twin variant. Whatever you get, you're only getting one thing in the premium wallet no matter what variant it is. So I'll get to that later. But between the twin wallets, this is just the regular one here. It may be difficult to see a difference. I mean, when it comes to the footprint, the quality of materials, the stitching, the branding. And as you can see here, the little button clasp at the front, different coloring, a little different uh, visual cues here. It really appears to be almost the exact same wallet. Uh, when it comes to the housing of the wallet, again, it is exactly the same size and capacity and materials of that inner housing here. Um, uh, really, it is kind of confusing when you get on the website, even for myself here. I wasn't really sure what was going to be premium. Again, here is the lever at the bottom to push the cards up. Again, a different color. Now that is uh, gonna be a stainless steel. But when you look at the wallet, open them up, again, from different colors, really there is not much difference here. The housing to kind of keep the cards is all the same. The leather here, when you look at it again, it appears to be a little bit more glossy than the regular one, but same thick, high quality leather, the same compartments on the inside, the same uh, cash holder, which is obviously the same material, same setup really no differences to be seen. Um, I, I uh, really was kind of confused. Uh, initially, I thought there was going to be um, kind of maybe a little bit of a redesign, especially for the interior of the wallet and the housing. But as you can see here, thus far, not much difference for the extra price. Now, when you get on the website again, kind of gives you a rundown Basically, what I got is this is kind of a carbon-friendly, environmentally friendly redesign with a stainless steel mechanism. Uh, the leather hasn't changed. It does appear to be a little bit more like waxy or glossy, but as far as I can tell, it's the exact same. And um, I, I really think it's going to be pretty much the same. Uh, it's just this little mechanism here, the stainless steel mechanism. On the website, it I thought maybe it was also going to be on the interior of the housing as well, but it is just that pop-up lever at the bottom. And I have a kind of an example here of the original twin wallet with the plastic here. Really no difference in terms of sound or feel. Both feel really high quality. Both pop up the cards at the same speed. Give you a little idea of here. You can see close up of the original um, plastic mechanism and uh, clasp here, uh, everything here on the website. You can see the first metal lever or lever. It's literally just this, um, this stainless steel bottom here. Whether you get this one in gold, there is one like on the websites that's in silver as well, depending on the one you get. Uh, that and this little plastic kind of redesign this pattern on the base of the housing not a different material. It's still going to be plastic. It's not a higher quality material. Both plastic, just kind of a little different design. It is literally that stainless steel lever bit and just that etching in the plastic. Again, I'm just going to show you the button here because this is also different. It's a little bit thicker as you're going to see here. It kind of bulges out a tiny bit more. It is more flat and rounded. Um, whereas this one, as you're going to see, is a little not, it's not as thick and kind of curves into the leather. Small detail, very, very small detail, but the moment of truth here, the interior. As you're going to see, the actual push-up mechanism on the premium wallet is still plastic. It is still plastic. When you look on the inside, that red felt is still there. It is literally just that stainless steel gold lever bit. Uh, you can kind of see the, the gold there, but the actual push-up mechanism that kind of staggers the card is still plastic. No real difference on the interior housing of the wallet, so you can see with your own eyes here, there's really only this small, minimal difference. And what is that really equal for? Here is the empty premium twin wallet, and it kind of came in at around 13.5, 13.4 grams. 
and um, I'll put the other one on there, the non-premium variant twin wallet, empty as well. And it is around 12.2, 12.3 grams. So you're getting like an extra 1.2 grams. And uh, socially responsible, carbon neutral, this is what you're getting with the premium wallet. That stainless steel bottom, stainless steel lever piece. Not the interior that staggers the car, just that bottom and that kind of etched design. The gold button. And that is it. So... A little disappointing. I, I, if you guys are on my channel and you watch my channel, you'll know Sacred is a. I'm a big fan of it. Um, I think this redesign was more so for being socially responsible, kind of to meet the environmentally friendly CO2 aspect of what's going on in the world today. So if if you want to put a little bit of extra money, and it's not a little bit, it's it's a good little chunk difference towards this. I say go for it. Otherwise, I really don't think this upgrade is needed. I've been using Sacred for five years and I've never owned a premium and they hold up amazingly. So sadly, I'm going to say pass. If you're looking at this, just go for the regular as, uh, yeah, the premium one, I don't think warrants that extra price point. So hopefully this video was helpful in kind of showing you the differences or lack thereof in the premium versus the regular one. And I hope this helps you on your buying journey. This is my honest opinion, my honest review here, but I would recommend just going for the regular one. If you are, in fact, looking to upgrade your wallet and grab a Secret, I would pass on the premium variant. All right, everybody, take it easy. And as always, thanks for watching, and until the next one.